Hello and welcome, in this presentation, we will be showing how to plot sinusoids, facets, time shifts and complex exponentials, in MATLAB. The purpose of the channel is education for all, with the objective to study less but smart. The channel offers subjects in the pathways of communication systems, signal processing, control systems, AI, and IT. If these courses are of interest to you, please subscribe and share with your colleagues, friends and class fellows. The sine and cosine functions belong to the general class of signals used for modeling and interaction with systems and have many applications in communication systems, control systems, vibration analysis, and many others. When plotting sinusoidal signals using computers, only discrete time version of x of t equals a cosine of 2 pi, f naught, t plus phi, can be generated and plotted. Where a, denotes the amplitude, f is the frequency in radians per seconds or hertz and phi is the phase angle. For t equals n, t sub s, the sample spacing relative to the frequency should be small enough that the connecting dots, that is, linear interpolation, of the waveform is not too distorted. According to the sampling theory, the maximum sample spacing, that is, minimum sampling rate which is 1 slash t sub s, should be such that the sequence x of n equals x of n, into t sub s, can be used to perfectly reconstruct x of t, from x of n. To generate a reasonable plot relative to the sinusoidal shape, 10 samples per period or, t sub s equals 1 by 10, f naught or t naught by 10, is good enough. We will consider a few examples for plotting in MATLAB. We consider a cosine signal with amplitude of 15, frequency, f naught equal 3 hertz and, phase of minus half by. The time vector of 1 second is created with t naught by 5 to see if there is any distortion. We plot the signal in red color. Next, we chose t naught by 10 for the time vector and plot in the green color. To further see the effects, we create a time array with t naught by 50 to get 50 times more samples. The rest of the code is for x, y labels, title and legends. The three plots are shown in the figure. Please note the number of peaks, the variation of each plot with 5, 10 and 50 samples as shown in the legend. The red color plot corresponding to 5 samples shows more distortion. As we increase the number of samples, we get a much better shape, which is our objective for the time being, as we are more concerned with having a good plot appearance relative to the expected sinusoidal shape. The three plots are shown separately, the MATLAB code is the same as previously except, the subplot command has been used. One can clearly see the distortions at peaks for the 5 and 10 samples cases. The 5 samples cases distortion while the 10 samples shows a clipping behavior. The 50 samples case has a smooth plot. The animation also shows such distortion effects. Going down in sampling has the effect of approximating a circle with polygons. The more the corners of the polygons, better the shape as one can expect. Next we see from another angle. We have a low frequency signal of 0.1 Hz or a time period of 10 seconds. We select time spacings of 05, 1, 1, 5 and 2 seconds as shown in the legends with different colors. For the 0.5 seconds spacing, the distortion is the least as shown by the green color while the distortion is maximum for time spacing of 2 seconds as shown by the magenta color. To further see the distortion effects for signals of different frequencies, we consider the same spacing of 0.5 seconds and the amplitude of 25. For the four signals with frequencies, 1, 1.25, 1.67 and 2.5 Hz, it can be seen that the distortion increases as we increase the signal frequency. Please see the corresponding plots of different colors. Special care is needed at peaks and zero crossings. To summarize the concept, the intersample's time must be small enough to produce a better shape of the analog counterpart. The time or phase shift of the sinusoid moves the waveform left or right on the time axis. Here, 
we create two versions of the sinusoidal signal in the previous slide with frequency of 1 Hz, amplitude, 25 and the phase shift of pi by 4 or 45 degrees. The signal is generated for 15 seconds to better see the phase shift or the associated time delay or advance in time. The original signal generated is as shown in the blue color. Please note the amplitude of 25, total time of 15 seconds and the first two zero crossings at 3.75 and 8.75 seconds. At next we generate a time shifted or delayed version of the signal in the red color. Please see the parameter T-2 in the plot command and note the corresponding zero crossings at 5.75 and 10.75 seconds. Finally we show the advanced version along with the original and delayed signals. The green color corresponds to the original, while the red is the delayed version and green is the advanced version, each by 2 seconds. Manipulating multiple sinusoids is actually easier, when we form a complex exponential representation. Motivated by Euler's formula, and the earlier definition of a cosine signal, we define the complex exponential signal as z of t equals u exponential of j multiplied with omega naught, t plus phi. We see that the complex sinusoid has amplitude a, phase shift phi, and frequency omega. Not in radians per second. The decomposition of a complex number into its real and imaginary parts motivates us to consider the complex exponential signal, that is, we can write x of t as the real part of the exponential part. Complex numbers in polar form can be easily multiplied as the product of absolute values of z1 and z2 and the angles are added together. The complex amplitude x is called the fassa, as it is the gain and phase value applied to the time varying component exponential of j omega naught t, which has unit magnitude. The combination, product, of the fixed fassa x, and exponential of j omega naught t results in a rotating fassa. For positive frequency the rotation is counterclockwise, and for negative frequency the rotation is clockwise. Here we show plots of the rotating fascia concept through a MATLAB script for a signal with frequency of 1 Hz and repeat for 10 Hz. We plot a series of snapshots of the rotating fascia when T is 1 by 15. We get a total of 16 snapshots at different phase angles. The phase shift is set to minus 2 pi by 16. This plot is for a 1 Hz signal. To get this, we first plot the circle followed by a fascia of corresponding angle according to the polar form and plotting its real and imaginary parts. Finally, we plot the red dot using the point real and imaginary values. The next plot shows the process for 10 Hz signals. Note the fascia rotates at a high repetition rate, which is obvious due to high frequency. Here we consider plotting sinusoids individually as well as their sum. The practice here is useful for Fourier series and Fourier transform which are the workhorse of signal processing analysis. Firstly we create two sinusoids x1 and x2. Of the same 10 Hz frequency these have amplitudes of 4.5 and 7.2, while the phase shifts are 35 and 85 degrees, respectively. The blue is x1, red is x2 and the sum is in light grey color. We can generalize the summation through a relation as shown. An elementary case could be to have simply the sum of two sinusoids as shown previously. In the last two cases, a, n equals b, n equals unity. Next we show a plot for the case of x of t, equals 3 cosine of t plus 4 sine of 3, t. The other two plots are the same except the first one some four sinoids consisting of three harmonics and the second has seven harmonics. Hopefully, you have enjoyed the presentation, and have contributed to or refreshed your knowledge. The objectives are to study less but smart, stay safe. Please like, subscribe and share with friends and colleagues.